Good morning, everyone. Good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzamos, and you're welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empire free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share this video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. <clears throat> Talking about liking, liking the video is very important because... The reason why you hear us talking about like the video, share or subscribe. That helps with the algorithms. And now this video can reach other souls and other people that need this kind of content. I'm going to talk about the narcissistic injury. So this video is for the victims that are dealing with the narcissist or you have dealt with the narcissist. And you may have missed out those points, those parts when you could have said or done something that has really caused a huge narcissistic injury. I'm going to give you guys seven signs that the narcissist you're dealing with has been injured. So you have actually caused a narcissistic injury. Sign number one, that is when they play victim. So they will go around telling everyone that you are the bad person, you know, they told you to do something, they didn't mean to they didn't mean you any harm, but for some reason you did something or you said something to them and now they are going to try to sob around and cry. Okay? A lot of the a lot of the people that do not really know that narcissist, they are sometimes going to turn against you because they will usually think you are the trouble causer, you are the problem, okay? So the narcissist never wants to take accountability for anything. Anything happens between you and the narcissist, and they have, co they have actually got an injury, a narcissistic injury. The first thing, usually, they will play the victim. Sign number two is silent treatment. So if you're living with these individuals in the same vicinity, they will go all of a sudden silent. They will stop talking. They will spend a lot of time in bed. They will, uh, it will feel like they don't even exist. They're not even around the house, okay? You say something, they don't answer you, or if they answer you, it's a very short and brief answer. So silent treatment can sometimes go on for, for days, if not weeks. A silent treatment can sometimes go up to a week. But you just have to know that at the end of that silent treatment, that narcissist will usually go back and start speaking with you at some point. Number three, which is the most common one, is rage. They will rage. It doesn't matter what narcissist you're dealing with, they are going to rage. They will scream, they will shout, they will point the fingers, they will throw some plates around the house, they will break some glasses, they will throw some stuff on your car, they will pour some liquids in your car. They will actually rage. And that is the kind of rage. I've already done a video on rage. That is the kind of rage you have never seen before, okay? The sign number four that you have caused a narcissistic injury is when they are going to go on a full-blown smear campaign. So they are going to go around and smear your name. They will tell everybody the bad things that you've done. Maybe even sometime you, you, you could have gotten into situations back in the days or back in the years. They are going to bring all those things back to the table and they are going to tell everybody all the bad things about you. They are going to make sure that they spoil and they smear your name. I've told you, I've already done a video on smear campaign, and I've told you there is nothing to do. Don't defend yourself. Don't try to go around and defend yourself because at that moment, it's very likely that nobody is listening to you. So you just have to keep on going and doing your own thing, okay? So you really have to know that the narcissist is going to um, initiate or start up a very huge smear campaign and your name. This can also sometimes happen during the discard when you have uh, discarded a narcissist and they're going through an injury. They also go around and tell everyone that you are the bad person, you are the you, you know you are the problem and this and that, you know what I mean? So they will usually smear your name. Sign number five that you have caused a narcissistic injury 
is when they usually have, they can be usually sometimes verbal or even sometimes physical violence, okay? If you're dealing with the ones who are actually hands-on, they may try to put their hands on you. You have told them something they don't expect from you or you have done something they don't expect from you. They are going to, um, they're going to become violent, okay? They may beat you up, they may pour some stuff on you, they may twist your hand, they may do everything to harm you, okay? So this is the reason why I've told you, or we have usually advised you guys, when you know that you're living with a narcissist and you suspect they have got an injury, it is best for you to be on a safe side to walk away from that situation and get as far away as you can, okay? Because you may sometimes get hurt in that situation. Uh, in that situation. Sign number six, they are going to threaten you. Okay, that's how you know that you've caused a narcissistic injury. They are going to threaten you. Oh, I'm going to see you. I'm going to press charges. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. So they're not going to start threatening you. Even some case scenarios, they may go ahead and actually press the charges or things like that. So they may threaten you. I'm going to send you out of the house. I'm going to take the car away from you. I'm going to take your kids. You'll never see these kids again. I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. So sometimes those threats, they can be real, but sometimes they're just threatening you. And they can't really do anything about it. And then the last one, which is denial. They are going to deny that they have even had anything to do with that situation. So they are going to be in denial. Anybody asks them what is going on with you. Maybe sometimes there's friends coming around and they find them locked in the room. They don't want to talk to anybody. Maybe that time they are going through a silent treatment. They are going to be like, oh, you know, everything is okay. You know, there's nothing going on. You know, you guys don't be, you don't need to be worried. So they don't want to... Uh, anybody to have any small feeling that they are going through something at that moment. So they will usually be in denial. And also sometimes, which is also very common, people who show up to that narcissist at some point after the injury, they are going to look like uh, very deflated. They are very defeated. You know, sometimes you will see them, even the way they dress, the way they, you know, they are very humble. You know, everybody, everybody wants to look like Wants them to look, what, they want everybody to see them that they are actually not the problem. So usually the narcissist would usually be in denial. There's no problem, there's nothing, there's nothing at all, there's nothing going on, and everybody who talks with them, they will never believe that there was, there was even a problem in the first place. So those are the seven signs I have. If you have got other signs that you know about, drop us those signs in the comment section below and let us know what has been your experience. So you guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session. You can always donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Denzel Moss signing out. Love and blessings. Peace.